Hey viewers, Giovanni here. Just wanted to highlight ShockRide's contribution to the mobile CP project from ArmyCoCreate.com. So we've talked about the soldier's desire for modularity in the seating and we've covered that time and time again. Just wanted to show you the uh, close to the beta prototype as far as uh, what was actually accomplished. So they kept that modularity in mind and all these uh, modules can come off and adjust to the soldier load. One of the more significant uh, features of this particular seat is the uh, lower lumbar support. So this can actually move up and down. So if you're wearing a, a, a plate carrier or a flak jacket with a water bladder or an ice pack on the back for some reason, um, you can sit in this vehicle and that lower lumbar support will actually support you. In addition to that, the water bladder is not impeded by any cushion like in a Humvee seat or a Cobra seat that you may be familiar with from the MRAP. Uh, there's actually a gap there for you. Um, this vehicle was designed with ergonomics in mind for the soldier by the soldier and a good example of that is, is what I'm wearing right now. Uh, thankfully this was supplied by ShockRite. But even though I have a water bladder, I have a sappy plate and flak in this jacket, I'm still able to operate the vehicle. There are no um, things in, in the way as far as the actual structure of the vehicle. That's because the soldier was actually involved and uh, it's great. It's great that you can actually do that. If anybody's actually driven a Humvee before or a similar vehicle where they had a traditional seat, it's, it's really a pain to deal with. But you always have to adjust to the vehicle. But in this case, we we're able to adjust the seating, adjust the ergonomics to the soldier the first time around. Just so wanted just to cover with you the, the last uh, update right before the make -a These vehicles getting prepped for transport. We're finishing up a few things here. For one, the uh, Molly panel on the front there, uh, that's going to be able to hold a uh, standard issue M4 uh, to a, for a soldier, their personal weapon. Um, we figured out the uh, front dash solution as far as uh, what's going to fit in there. Um, the, the Molly panels are also removable. Okay, so another thing uh, about this vehicle and the project itself, the Mobile CT, one of the great things about having it designed by the actual soldier on site is you get some of those smaller details that you may have missed in a traditional process. Uh, for one, everything on this vehicle is meant to be serviceable or, or reconstructable in the field. So for example, if you were to lose your door, uh, if you were to lose one of these cotter pins, it's not going to be too difficult for you to find an alternate solution. Uh, for example, instead of maybe using this door, there's supplied max tracks. And the cotter pins, you can use, use something like a bolt, a bolt and a nut uh, to replace that. So that's one of the, the more uh, uh, rewarding things about this whole process. You get a lot more details as far as what they actually need. Nothing's actually missed. And nothing's added that they don't really want because they're the ones at doing all the work. Just in summary, we're going to be packing these up right now. They're going to be leaving in about an hour or two uh, to head to Fort Benning, Georgia for Makeathon number two. Uh, they're going to be building and assembling the second Kawasaki Terex 750 using what we've done here, uh, a secondary kit. But they're going to be doing that live from Fort Benning uh, with ArmyCoCreate.com and a U.S. Army Rapid Equipping Force. There's been a number of companies participating, but we really want your assistance too. So uh, any live feedback, uh, you want to sign in uh, anytime 9 to, to 5 uh, p.m. Uh, Fort Benning time, and we'll see you there, ArmyCoCreate.com. Okay.